Thanks for joining us from the Ohio Agnet. Voice you know with the News Your Trust Studio, sponsored by Grain Equipment Company, where innovation meets execution. I'm Dusty Sonnenberg. Well, clear, sunny skies, 79 degrees outside. We've been broadcasting today from the Henry County Fair. Well, I'm visiting today with Tim Brinkman. Tim is a member of the Henry County Agricultural Society, otherwise known as the Senior Fair Board. Tim, a lot of things have been in the works since actually a pandemic year when uh, the fair was looking very different. Looks a little bit different this year, but we're definitely definitely gaining some ground. Talk a little bit about the uh, new event center that is planned from a senior fair board perspective. When this idea first came to you guys, what, what was some of the thoughts around the room? There was, we had started out with a group of um, young families that was doing uh, a lot of showing and this event center started by looking at our old buildings and trying to decide what we needed to do with them because it is in desperate need of repair and we kind of got to looking at different ways to help pay for it so we thought well we'll build an event center that has a lot of different capabilities uh wedding um, venue livestock shows maybe small tractor pulls something to bring money into the fairgrounds and into the uh, henry county community Well, that makes a lot of sense, and you've gone through a lot of work, both the Senior Fair Board and the committee with this. We now fast forward to 2024. We are in the midst of the fair, and uh, while that new building is not up yet, boy, you can almost taste it. It's right there. We've got all the pins and things here, and and, uh, Show Arena taking uh, an opportunity for folks to maybe get an idea of a little bit of the difference, but you were telling me if folks come out to the fair and they look at the tents that sh- set up for showing the large livestock and some of the pens, only about a seventh of the size of what the actual building's going to be. Yes, uh, the building itself is going to be 125 feet wide and 350 feet long. So if you're here at the fair, the east side of the tent is about where the new building will start and the north side is also where the building will start and it will go to the south 125 feet plus then there's going to be a office on there a new fair office will be in that area a small like a food prep area a milking parlor for the dairy cattle and the rest of it is clear span building that can be opened up and it's actually 43,000 some square feet. So as a, uh, again, member of the Senior Fair Board, what's your vision for this in the future? What would you like to see it accomplished? Or what would what the board like to uh, see it accomplished with this new facility? We would like to be able to have this facility rented out every week, every other week, bring in some money for the, not only the community, um, the fair board. It's just a great opportunity for the whole county. Again, my guest today has been Tim Brinkman. He's a member of the Senior Fair Board here in Henry County talking about the new event center that will be built. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more after this. Did you know soybeans' number one customer is animal agriculture? That includes Ohio's beef farms. Research from the Soy Checkoff found that U.S. beef operations use over 1.3 million tons of soybean meal every year. That's the meal from about 55 million bushels of U.S. soybeans. Essential protein, energy, and amino acids. High-quality feed for heart-healthy beef. Soybeans, feeding the industry that feeds us. Brought to you by Ohio's soybean farmers and their checkoff. A couple quick calendar reminders. The Southwest Ohio Corn and Wheat Growers Field Day is August 13th at the Fayette County Airport in Washington Courthouse. This remote broadcast is thanks to LCNB National Bank. You can visit them at lcnb.com to learn more about their ag lending programs. Then coming up on Wednesday, I'll be broadcasting from the National Tractor Pulls doing a preview. The polls take place the 15th through the 17th. Our coverage there is thanks to Nature's Premium Liquid Fertilizers since 1946. Also taking place on Wednesday the 14th, you can join the Ohio Soybean Association for their hometown tour. That takes place at Bex Hybrid's location down in London, Ohio. Register for this free event at soyohio.org slash hometown. Let's take a look at that Friday weather forecast as we head into the weekend brought to us by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. Sunny and dry over Ohio here through the rest of your Friday. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin. Let's take a look at your forecast update. 
Cascade. We are looking rather pleasant. Temperatures downright cool for this time of year. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, hey, it could be a lot hotter, and eventually it will be. I think we're looking at dry weather holding through the weekend, dry in terms of humidity values. I think they stay relatively comfortable. We'll see humidity climb a little bit early next week. However, I am not looking at much precipitation potential for the next 10 days. Maybe we see a few hit and miss scattered showers trying to sneak into western parts of Ohio next to Monday night or into early Tuesday. But that's it. I'm Ryan Martin. Thanks, Ryan. Let's take a look now at your closing market prices brought to us by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. Well, as we head into the weekend just ahead of next Monday's release of the latest WASD report, the World Ag Supply and Demand Estimates from the USDA, September corn closed down two and a half cents at three dollars seventy-six and three quarter cent. August soybeans closed up eighteen and a quarter at ten twenty-eight, and wheat for September closed up a nickel at five dollars forty-two and one half cent. August live cattle ended the day up two dollars twenty cents at one eighty-four twenty-five, and August lean hogs closed down twenty-two and a half cents at eighty-nine dollars eighty cents. Thanks for joining us, and have a great weekend. This is the Ohio AgNet.